up with special guests, uh, our representative from the 41st District of the Pennsylvania Legislature in Harrisburg is Ryan Omont. And Ryan is a bona fide veteran himself who served in Operation Iraqi Freedom and earned several awards as a U.S. Army Captain and Commander of an Infantry Company, including a Bronze Star Medal, the Army Commendation Medal, Army Achievement Medal, and Army Parachutist Badge. Uh, on my right, we have a contingent from the East Hempfield Township Police Force who are our daily protectors in this community, and we're grateful to have them here with their contingent. Thank you, gentlemen and ladies. And also to us. <laughs> Assisting us in our ceremonies today, especially the flag raising and lowering, is a contingent from the Detachment 294 of the Marine Corps League, their color guard, and we're very pleased to have them come and participate. Thank you, gentlemen. We want to remember the reason that we're here today and our purpose is to honor the memory of those who paid the last full measure of devotion to their country and military service. These brave souls have carried on the legacy of our founding fathers who in 1776 courageously took a stand and declared independence from an oppressive foreign government. And in support of that declaration with uh, firm reliance on divine providence, they did mutually pledge to one another their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. And in all the generations and years that have passed since that time, tens of thousands of young men and women have boldly stepped forward to take on the uniform of the United States military and take a stand against tyranny and the oppression of foreign governments. We're grateful for what they have done. And so doing these, uh, many of these who stepped forward to, to take their stand uh, forfeited their, their precious lives in defense of our God-given rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let us never forget the sacrifices that they made or the suffering of their beloved families. Would you join me now in a moment of silence and prayer as we recognize them and bow our heads in reverence to our almighty God. How majestic is your name in all the earth. The heavens declare your glory, O God, and the skies proclaim your handiwork. For it's by your word, O Lord, that the heavens were made their starry host by the breath of your mouth. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and praise, for you have created all things, and by your will they are created and have their being. We invite your awesome presence now among us, Lord, and ask your blessing on these proceedings as we pay tribute to the memory of our country's fallen heroes. In your gracious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Would you all who are able... Please stand while we have the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. The United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Commander Schilling. Will the flag retirement group please come forward? If you will retire the colors.
Commander Schilling. Please get your new tripod back ready. We have asked each resident veteran of Village Grand to form a color guard and participate in honoring the fallen heroes of our wars. We will begin now to introduce that color guard. Each member will state their name, branch of service, and dates of service. Paul Cunningham, United States Air Force, 1948-1952. Ryan Amit, United States Army, 1999-2003. Tom Newby, U.S. Army, 1970 through 1998. Charles McCork, of PFC, U.S. Army, 1956, actually 1954 to 1956. Charlie Rizala, U.S. Navy, 1955 through 61. Bill Kiskadden, United States Navy, uh, enlisted from 1950 to 54. Don Murray, U.S. Army, 1962 to 1964. John Law, U.S. Army, 1960 to 1966. Uh, Thomas Finn, the U.S. Army, 1966 and 1968. Frank Martzell, United States Army, 1968 to 1971. Don Caldwell, U.S. Army, 1954 to 1962. Bill Silverstein, U.S. Army, 1966 to 1969. Ed Lafferty, uh, U.S. Army, 1967, 1971. Fred Larson, U.S. Army, 1958-1961. Larry Pals, U.S. Navy, 1966-1991. Bill Corwin, U.S. Air Force, 1965-1969. Charles Lentz, U.S. Army, 51-53. Terry Beasley, U.S. Army, 1964 to 1966. Bill Lund, U.S. Army, 1963 to 1969. Jim Campbell, U.S. Air Force, 59 to 63. John Logan, 1952-1957, United States Air Force during the Korean and the Cold War conflicts. John McLaughlin, U.S. Army, 1967 to 1970. Bert Irvine, United States Navy, 1951 to 1956. John Schmucker, U.S. Air Force, 1958 to 1964. Arno Richter, 1943 to 1946, U.S. Army. Joe, Joe, Joe Fickner, U.S. Navy. Uh, and um, then uh, attached to the uh, uh, Marines. Pat Patterson, U.S. Army Air Corps, 1942-1946, U.S. Air Force, 1951-1953. Uh, Jack Standish, United States Navy, 1961-1983. Hubbard, U.S. Army, 1957 to 
Tom Molotov, U.S. Army, 1954-56. Galen Robbins, 1955-1958, U.S. Air Force. Robert Norris, U.S. Navy, 1962-1964. Pete Faber, U.S. Air Force Reserve, 1962-68, and my late son, Rob Faber, U.S. Navy, 1957-94. Bill Piper, United States Marine Corps, 1950-52. Bob Allen, U.S. Army, 1955-1957. Charlie Wien, U.S. Army, 1968 to 1969. Sir, please transport the new colors to the base of the flagpole. At this time, when the Marine Corps brings the flag to the top, we will slowly be uh, lowering the flag, the name of each resident who has passed away that was in the service will be, his name will be rung and the ship's bell will be told for that person's name. Standish. Jules Elfenbein. Thank you. Bill Muir. Stanley Estado. Herman Shermer. Al 
Baker. You all bow your heads now, please, in a moment of prayer for the POWs and MIAs. Almighty God, we praise you as the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we have received from you. As we ref reflect today on the fallen heroes whose memory we honor, we pledge not to forget these precious ones who also went off to battle to become prisoners of war or mysteriously disappear and later be categorized as MIA or missing in action. These too have sacrificed their blood, their limbs, and perhaps their lives in defense of our cherished freedoms. To those brave souls we owe an inestimable debt of gratitude. For the families of these warriors who wait in agonizing uncertainty, we offer you this prayer, O oh God, as we place them gently before your throne of grace, that they might receive mercy and find grace to help them in their terrible distress. Oh, Lord, you know where these missing ones are. So we plead with you to make their fate known to their loved ones, and if they are still alive out there somewhere, to cover them with your gracious protection from abuse and return them safely home. In faith, we ask for this great blessing and hold to the hope that you will hear our cries for mercy on their behalf, O oh, merciful God. Amen. At this time, we're going to place our POW MIA flag, and after that, each branch of the service. If you'll please place, uh, put the POW MIA flag in, please. Okay, uh, Navy. Air Force. Coast Guard.
can never forget our POWs, MIAs. There's approximately 85,000 since 1941. That means that there's 170,000 parents who doesn't, don't know what happened to their children, and that turns into 440,000 grandparents. Numerous siblings, husbands, wives, children, brothers and sisters, cousins. So never forget our POWs, MIAs. Uh, Jim Schilling. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please be prepared. We will now have a rifle salute. Have your ears ready for a report. Christopher Jones. Mr. Mallory, you may retire your flag committee. Bugler, you are retired. Right. Rifle squad, you Thanks. are retired. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank the Marine Corps League Detachment uh, two, uh, 294 for coming out, Jim Schilling and his men and women. We thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. We have a poem entitled The National... Day of Remembrance, Memorial Day. This was written by Dell Abe Jones in 2005. That poem about where poppies blow and the crosses row on row still rings true these 97 years after written, still brings tears. We still have dead amid the guns Lose our young and loved ones, those who lived short days ago, who felt dawn, felt sunset glow. In Flanders Field, the poppy red still grow near where the blood was bled. They take up our quarrel with the foe and still die for freedoms that we know. They pass the torch to hold it high and not break the faith with us who die.
for they shall not sleep, though poppies grow beneath those crosses, row on row in Flanders Field. Now, would you all stand, please, and join in the singing of our national anthem, which will be led by Vinnie Morelli. Please sing loud. Let's try and let all Lancaster hear us. Oh, sir, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam? and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the This time, I'd like to thank everybody who came here today. I'd like to thank the Marine Corps for coming again to, uh, to help us out. The police department, the men and women of the police department who came and also provided us with the uh, cones for the parking lot. Thank you for that. John, uh, Jim Muller for the sound effects here today. We thank you and uh, Vinnie uh, Morelli and Joan Lung for the singing of our national anthem and things, and to all the vets who served our country so that we can live in peace today in our homeland. Uh, the refreshments will be served by the, so, by the committee. The, uh, 
well, you'll be invited in. Give us time to get the veterans that are seated in and, and put at a table. And a couple of you will pick up some chairs on the way in. We had to bring some out. And uh, also, I'd like to thank the committee. Paul Cunningham, Don Schmucker, uh, uh, Bill Corwin, and Biddle Wiggum for all their hard work all year long in putting this project together. Thank you. I also would like to thank Paul Cunningham for donating the ship's bell to be rung for the first time this year at our ceremony. We we'll hope we'll be able to continue doing that. Uh, also, for the people who would like to donate the, for the Wounded Warrior Project, which is a project that we believe in totally here at Village Grand, it's to help these young men and women coming back with their uh, all their problems that they have physically and all the stress that has been put on them over the years. Uh, so there is a, a, a jar in there on the counter to donate money to the uh, Wounded Warrior Project. If you feel like donating, it would be appreciated. Uh, One last item, uh, John's too modest to mention, he's the one that built this beautiful stand for the bell. So, uh, and now, if we can go inside now, and just let these men here that were seated get inside and get them seated first. Uh, Jim Schilling, if you will, and your men will join us. Uh, there is a table for you back in the corner, uh, Jim. Okay.